Kamala Tech's flagship app for Confluence Cloud is Kamala Document Management, but it has a sibling, our popular app, Kamala Document Control. Both apps allow teams to add review and approval workflows to Confluence Cloud documents. Why would you pick one over the other? It really comes down to how much customization you need to make to your approval workflows. Let's take a closer look. I'm in Confluence and I've opened the space settings. I'm going to click Content Tools and then on the tab for Kamala Document Control. Here we can see the pre-installed approval workflows that are included with Document Control. We have a basic approval workflow, a content expiry workflow, and a quality management system workflow. The basic approval workflow is exactly what it sounds like a lightweight approval process that offers a single round of reviews before a page is considered approved. The content expiry workflow lets you add an expiry to the approval of a page. Perfect for those pages that you want to keep up to date. And finally, the quality management system or QMS workflow adds the ability to approve a page with an electronic signature. So now you've seen the workflows in Document Control, but what about Document Management? Let's switch over to that app. Here I'm still in the space settings, and yes, you can see that I can apply the same three workflows to my content. But what makes Document Management special is that I can actually edit the workflows to customize them. I can start from an existing workflow to create the approval process that works for me. Here I'll choose to edit the basic approval workflow with the Workflow Builder. Let's pretend that I need to add an extra approval step before the document is considered finalized. I'll click Add State and give it a name. Let's call it Final Approval. I want the manager to sign off on it, so I'll add an approval called Manager Approval. Next, I'll have to adjust the workflow transitions to put it in the right place in the process, just before the final state. Lastly, maybe we need to capture that manager's sign-off for compliance purposes. It's as easy as opening the manager approval and requiring an electronic signature. I can add whatever functionality I need to create my team's perfect workflow. Then I can save it with its own name and we can use this workflow on any pages we want. That's the difference between document control and document management in a nutshell. Do the built-in workflows do everything you need? Stick with Kamala Document Control. Need to customize your workflows to fit your processes? Then you'll need the full power of Kamala Document Management. Still not sure which app is right for you? No problem, we're here to help. Just reach out to our support team and we'll be sure to guide you in the right direction. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.